I'm Denise Cannon. From all of us on the 9 o'clock news team, we wish for you the best of the holidays, all the joy of the season, and happiness throughout the new year. Newsbreak is brought to you by American Family Insurance. All the family protection under one roof. Good evening. The Chicago area bracing for zero degree weather tonight after last night's storm left nine inches of snow in Evanston, 19 in Antioch. Someone fired several shots into Alderman Wallace Davis' home last night. Police blame New Year's revelers, but Davis says someone tried to kill him. Authorities raid bookie joints in suburban Riverside and Mount Prospect. They arrest three people and seized over $1 million in bet slips. We'll have details tonight on the 9 o'clock news. Good evening. Snow is on its way. Three to seven inches of snow forecast for Chicago overnight. Even more in the far southern suburbs. There will be less north. National unemployment increased one-tenth of one percent in December. The Illinois jobless level jumped four-tenths of one percent. A pay raise for state officials is approved in Springfield but challenged in court. We'll have a live report on tonight's gang task force meeting in Pilsen. All coming up on the 9 o'clock news. Good evening. An Islamic terrorist group is now claiming responsibility for the Beirut kidnapping of Joliet priest Lawrence Jenko. In West Germany, officials say three American soldiers were killed in an accident involving an unarmed Pershing missile. Bloomington businessman David Hendricks is sentenced to life in prison for the murders of his wife and their three small children. We'll have these stories and more tonight at 9. 